stranded knitting or two color knitting or fair isle knitting is when you're knitting stitches in two different colors in the same row. So you can see we have some little motifs here. If you normally tension your yarn in your right hand, sometimes you have a couple extra fingers free. So if you stop and think about how you grab that yarn, how you tension the yarn in your hand, so there's that. You can use those free fingers to do the same thing. And so now you've got two different colors of yarn in the same hand. And the motions for knitting are the same. So it's just yarn over and pull through the stitch. So if I wanted to switch colors, now I'm not gonna use these fingers. I'll use these fingers down here, yarn over and pull through the stitch. That's what I would normally do. And remember that second color is down here in my other fingers. I'm just gonna go around the needle with that second color. There's the first one, and then there's that second one. The same thing works if you knit continental. You can carry both yarns over on your left hand. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can keep your one color in your right hand and have the other color in your left hand. Or if you knit continental, you can have one color in your left hand and have the other in your right hand. And so it's one stitch in each color. There's one stitch. Continental's not my strongest suit, so I use a finger to help hold it in place. There's one color. There's the other. One of the important things to remember in Fair Isle is not to pull your stitches tight, to make sure that they stay a little bit loose because they have to travel across each other, across the back of the work. So look, if I pull this yarn really tight, then that's gonna bunch up on this little gray stitch. So you wanna make sure that you're not pulling your stitches really tight. The back of Fair Isle work is covered in floats those are the little strands of yarn that float across the back of the work. So you need to make sure that your yarn actually does float across the back of the stitches. 